CNC pen plotters, the most unique invention of all time. As kids, we would definitely have imagined of a machine which would do all our homework and here it is. But as you all know, I like to build useful things into a cheap cost. So today, without any printing engineering, we are going to build this CNC plotter within 1500 rupees. Guys, I have bought many of the components from Harish projects and also I have gave all the links in the description box. This is an Arduino Nano and here is one Arduino Nano with soldered pins. Apart from Arduino Nano, we would require all this. Firstly, I took my CNC shield and fixed my Arduino Nano board in this manner. You can also buy all the 3D printed parts from the website which I have given in my description box. Then I tried to fix my motors on my 3D printed parts but unfortunately I didn't get the exact size of screws. Then I got an idea. And now the screws are easily cutting inside the holes. Now we have to fix these two parts using any type of instant adhesive like Faviquick. But just after 2 minutes I realized that I have literally pasted the part in very wrong direction and it was too late. As you can see I have literally destroyed this plastic but it wasn't much hard I just used one sandpaper. Then I took a piece of wood for the base of my CNC plotter. I made some holes using my drill machine and now I am going to paint this board. Now I'm going to make all the connections. For powering up our CNC plotter, we would need two methods. One is 5V adapter and another one is our Arduino's Type A cable. Then I made another hole for my female port. Here you can give a supply of 5V DC to 9V DC.
After connecting all the components correctly, we would need 4 softwares Arduino IDE, JSCut, Inkscape and UGS. Let's download Arduino IDE first. Launch the application, then select your board and your port. Now download this file from GitHub. I have given the link in the description box. After downloading the zip file, just go to include library, click on add zip library and select this grbl zip. Now go to files tab, then examples, then upload this grbl. Then click on upload. Unfortunately, I got few errors due to clone Arduino, but the next day all the errors were solved. Congratulations, our CNC plotter is ready to be used, but firstly we need to process the image. Now I'm downloading my second software which is Inkscape. Guys, now we are going to process the paths of our image using Inkscape. Here, firstly we have to select the properties of our image. For my plotter, I am setting my width and the height of the page to 7cm each. Now import the image which you want to be drawn. Now follow the steps as I am doing. Once we have created our vector image, we are ready to paste it into our JSCut and JSCut will generate its G code. Now edit all these parameters as I am doing. Now click on save g-code and save this local file. Now download the fourth software UGS. Now launch the UGS application. Select the baud rate to 1 like 15200 then affirmate the connection. And now you are ready to go. But before all this just make sure that you have already connected your Arduino's cable and your 5V DC cable. Using this jog controller you can run your plotter manually also. But for just now, just import the G-code file which we had just created here. You can use these three buttons for playing, pausing or stopping the plotter. And finally, our plotter has started its work.
Guys, I knew one thing that CNC plotters are not much fast and the motors which I have used are really very slow. So that's why our plotter is working very much slowly. And finally guys, we have got our result. So what's the conclusion now? Is it really helpful? Yeah. I think CNC plotters are really amazing things but I don't think that they are much faster. I mean it shouldn't be referred as a homework writing machine because I can write much faster than this one. But yeah, I hope you all liked it and share this video with your friends who want their homework to be done by a machine and comment your opinions on this machine. And if you want my honest opinions on these type of projects, just subscribe to this channel. Hare Krishna, Radhe Radhe.